All right. Oh, no. This doesn't look good at all. All right. We're going to the ocean. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Wobbly Life. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And today we're going to be doing the unthinkable. Today, we're going to be breaking into the Wobbly Life office <gasps> in order to figure out some secret information about future updates. So you're probably asking yourself, Komodo, how do you pull off such a daring heist? Well, it's really simple. We're going to walk into the office and we're going to use the elevator. So that's not the only thing we're going to be doing here today. You guys had some great suggestions uh, with the little bouncy ball that we used in one of the last episodes where we went to space. And we've got a couple things we're going to experiment with. Because I feel like we can go even further into the sky. Also, it kind of ties into what is at the office. So, the Wobbly Life people actually came out with an update, which obviously got rid of all the snow and stuff. Uh, rip snowman. But they've added a couple things to the office, and I think it gives us a really great clue as to what's coming next. Alright, so we're going to have to use some intimidation tactics in order to get into the office and scare him into giving us information. So we're going to march up there with our monster truck and uh, we're going to speak to somebody's manager because that's what we're going to do. Uh, because I demand information here. So if you guys are enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Also, we have a multiplayer episode coming up really soon, so be sure to tune into that. Alright, here it is. Rubber Band Games. So I bet you guys didn't know how to get into the secret headquarters here. By the way, I didn't even know this was here. Like, we discovered it in a multiplayer episode. I was like, this is a thing? And there's like all this extra information about the game in here? So let's just hop in. Okay, oh, we gotta sneak by the guard over there. Okay, walk over here. Dude, they got a gaming setup down here. Is this really what their office is like? Holy man. By the way, is there something secret back here? No, this is the back door. Okay, go back into here. All right, so the guy's not looking at us right now. So the secret code to their elevator is pressing the red button. Don't tell anybody though. Okay, let's go into here. Okay, all right. I don't think he suspected a thing. All right, let's go in there and let's find some secrets. So you guys having a good day today? You know, we're just riding an elevator here, just kind of enjoying life. Uh, just taking a little bit and, oh, here we go. All right. Well, it appears that nobody's in the office. By the way, that's the devs up there. Uh, they don't have any mouths or noses. It's kind of weird. All right, so if we look around here, we've got the main menu. Okay, so let's see. What's around here? Is there a bear in the seat over here? What the heck does that mean? Hmm, okay, look around for information. Whoa, okay, what is this? Hey, is this possible clothing items? Okay, so we've seen some of these. Wait, is there one with a, like a little sloth on the head? Is that an item somewhere that we can get? Like all these items are items that I noticed except for the jello head and then the uh, the sloth head thing. Huh, I need to find those. Okay, so we got that. That's not really a secret. Now I think the secret's gonna be back here somewhere. Also, trash TV. What is this? Wait, this totally looks like a gang beast reference. Yeah, you've got like the four wobbly people. I wonder if this is upcoming game mode. Looks like you can throw uh, other wobbly people into the grinder. That's kind of cool. All right, look, look, look. Oh, here it is. Wobbly life ideas. It says make wobblies more wobbly. Wobble, what the? <laughs> My brain just farted there. So look at this. To do awesome updates, more costumes. Apparently it's coming to the Xbox, but look at this last one. It's space, but it's crossed out. So this kind of makes sense here. And hear me out. Also, there's a zombies mode, but I, I feel like that might be a joke there but the reason i think the space mode is legit because watch this so if we go right around the corner here look at the art that is on the wall here that is a space station now if you notice that little rocket down there that is the same rocket that is out on the island now i was guessing maybe it was a nuke but i'm like why would they add a nuke to wobbly life that seems a little weird for a game that's for the most part fairly friendly but that is totally the rocket parked up on a space station so are we gonna have some sort of big space station with the jobs that we can go to i'm thinking so look at that i've cracked the code i did it i did all the secrets and stuff also please don't arrest me for going into your uh, your office here uh, is there anything else i should look at in here 
So yeah, as far as I know, this update added some of this to the office. Now, the office might have already been here with some of this in here, but I think uh, this is almost like a completely new thing, or it's new to me, and for people who don't actually play the game, uh, I think you guys uh, would like this information. Because, man, we're going to be taking a rocket to space, and it's going to be epic. Also, this is like the neatest thing ever, the whole fact that they give us like a little insight of what their office might look like, and the whole fact it's like, hey, you can see future updates in here. Okay, let's uh, go say hi to the guard. All right. Hi, Bob. Uh, we're going to call him Bob. Bob seems a little uh, suspicious. Bob, are you typing on your computer, or is there something wrong? Are they holding you hostage? Hold on. What's in the back room behind Bob? It's empty. Huh, this looks like Bob's brain right now. Uh, it's okay, Bob. Uh, this is the no good, uh, I guess we'll call him the receptionist slash security guard here at Rubber Band Games. All right, so now that you saw that, what do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna be some sort of space station or are they completely throwing us off? Maybe it's gonna be something completely different, I don't know. But all I know is I wanna go get my bouncy ball on. Alright, so here we go. We got our little balancing ball. So if you watched the last episode, you know we loaded this up in a hot air balloon and jumped out of it and it glitched out and we flew up into the sky. So I'm going to do the same thing. I don't think we got maximum altitude last time, so I'm going to make a run just doing that. But then you guys had some suggestions of where to drop at to potentially get even more height or maybe even bug out the game. Somebody said drop into the ocean. Uh, which that's a possibility and there was a couple other things by the way really is it gonna rain on me and i always hate when it rains on my parade so another person suggested that i load this thing up in the helicopter up at the uh the old military base on top of the mountain okay is this loaded uh, drop out of it okay we're good so yeah we might do that maybe we can get more uh, height so yeah we might try that too all right, so today's uh, Jank Space Program flight has been canceled due to rain. Uh, we're coming back down where the bunker is, and I'm going to go ahead and prep the helicopter too. And we're going to have to wait this storm out before we go to outer space because I can't see jack squat right now, and I have no clue where I'm going. So we're dropping down in the, uh, the little bunker here. I wonder if they've updated something with it. I know we've looked in it before, but I'm kind of curious. Oh, is the rain stopping? Oh, it's just snowing now. Great, I still can't see though, game. Uh, and we might have to wait till morning. They need a little feature where you can just wait, like a Skyrim or something, where you just sit there and let some time pass by. It's gonna be fine though, folks. We'll launch in the morning. By the way, for those wondering, it doesn't look like they've done any more work on the little secret bunker here. It still kind of looks the same as last time, so uh, hold down hope that maybe we get something there. Also, somebody said you can glitch into this thing, uh, but since there's not really anything in there, I'm not too worried about it. So, as far as the helicopter you guys wanted to see me use uh, for this little particular stunt, it's this gray one right here, which you can fit stuff in the side, so if I can get the bouncy thing to lodge in here, uh, we should be good. The only bad thing is, how am I going to jump into it? Like, when I hop out... Oh, you do hop out in the back. Okay, that's good. Alright, so, this should work, I think. Uh, so, it would appear that it's now sunny, so we're going to go ahead and launch at night. So first drop we're going to do, let's use the hot air balloon and then we'll see if we can get maybe more altitude uh, and maybe a better drop with the helicopter. So let's go straight up. Oh boy, it's about to get exciting here, folks. Okay, folks, we have reached the skybox. So question is, can we get back to the skybox? I don't want to drop over there because I feel like that's going to be cut in short if I drop on the mountain. So I need maximum altitude for today's flight. And then we're going to test the water theory. Because stuff doesn't really float in Wobbly Life except for the character when it dies. So that would give me some extra distance before I hit something in the little bouncy thing. So that would equal more height, correct? Uh, I don't know. This is all about science though. Alright, I think we're ready to drop. Hurry up, get in. Okay, on. We gotta get out. Gotta get out. Uh oh, I am jammed. What the heck? Here we go. All right, here we go. Look for a nice opening. Oh boy. Oh boy. Don't hit a slope. Don't hit a slope. Oh boy. What the heck? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, so wait. What did I just get an extra bounce on? You guys heard the second bounce, right? So we go boom and then wait for it. Wait, I didn't get a second bounce that time. Okay. Yeah, you know what? There's something really weird about that first jump. Wait, can we make it back over to the base? Okay. Well, we're about to test the water method. Uh, let's go down in here. Yeah, there was a second bounce, and then it propelled me a second time, which is great. Okay, that might have broke some momentum there. 
on. Let's try to hit in the middle of the water. Can we go straight down to the bottom? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, so we would get a little bit of extra distance there if we shoot down into the ocean. Maybe we should travel over to where, like, the aircraft carrier is and do it. I guess next we should go ahead and also try the helicopter. Where's my hot air balloon? Oh, it's dropping. Oh, it's disappearing. We're too far away from it. Okay, so what if I were to load this up into the helicopter? Oh, will this fit? Come on. Oh, 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 okay, this is really awkward. Whoa, okay, so let's see. When we jump in here to interact with this, if I hop out, I'm in the back, right? And I can jump into this and hop out the, uh, the side. All right, so here we go. I really wish you could close the door, but I think it's going to be okay. So we know what the max altitude is. Uh, you hit the skybox and you stop going up. So are they going to change the max altitude when we get space, or is it going to load into a new map? Which, by the way, we're going over to the base. That way you guys can see the rocket again. Okay, we are going to do a drop. So let's stop. Oh, no, I just lost my thing. <gasps> no, you got to be kidding me. Wait, is that going to come back up here? It totally just landed on a helicopter and exploded it. What are the odds of us dropping that and it hits the one helicopter on the pad down here and blows it up? Yep. Okay, that was uh, actually kind of awkward. All right, let's come down. All right, well, mm, so yeah, we're going to go back up and see if the water method works. All right, so we're going up. I think we're almost at the skybox. And what the? Wait, what? Wait, why did that explode? Oh, dear. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, uh, oh. Wait, so my thing totally just disappeared. Huh? Okay, so that is not meant to happen with the helicopter because you can't really tell where the top of the skybox is. And yeah, oh, I gotta go all the way back up there in order to get another hot air balloon. Dang it. All right, folks, we're almost in position. We're gonna see how deep the ocean is and if it provides the extra distance we need in order to go uh, into the great unknown or the part of the game that hasn't been updated yet. So my goal is to drop down, hit it, come up, and maybe go somewhere. If not, we can try to land on the aircraft carrier because if we get stuck out in the middle of the ocean, we're gonna drown. But I'm curious, how deep is it out here? Because it's not very deep over there. All right, so I'm gonna call it now. Here we go, let's release. Okay, get up, grab this. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh no, this doesn't look good at all. All right, we're going to the ocean. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? What just happened? Okay, I'm starting to glitch out. Okay, we didn't even like touch barely into the ocean. What is going on? What? I'm confused. Okay, let's try to launch out of the map now. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay. It's weird. We have like unlimited travel. Oh, we just bounced off the top of the map. Wait, was that that second bounce earlier? All right, here we go. I think we just, uh, I think we just proved what happens when you glitch out of the map and you just kind of hit the water and... Okay, I'm still confused as to what just happened. So I think we kind of need to ask ourselves, what happened here today? Uh, we tried to, uh, bounce on the ocean and apparently the ocean isn't deep at all. We bounced off the surface and we hit the skybox and bounced off it. And then eventually we bounced out of the map and the, the game just said, no, you're going back. So I think we uh, tested pretty much all the theories you guys wanted me to do uh, with the bouncy thing. Also kind of showed you guys maybe some of the potential future updates here in Wobbly Life. But thank you guys for all the love and support on the series. You guys are amazing. We'll see you guys next time.